What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Bone Meal Farm. This farm works on 1.20 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bedrock with you playing a phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you guys can see here, this farm allows you to quickly and easily get a lot of bone meal. For this farm, you'll need 2 chests, 10 glass panes, 10 hoppers, 5 composters, 1 redstone repeater, 14 redstone, 5 redstone torches, 1 lever, 2 water buckets, 5 kelp, 10 sand, 5 wooden trap doors, 5 slabs, 6 ladders, 5 pistons, 5 sticky pistons, 5 signs, and finally about a stack of 28 solid blocks. You can use any type of solid block that you want. A couple of examples of solid blocks are smooth stone or cobblestone. The first step is to place 2 solid blocks. Then place 1 over here and 1 over here. Now break this block. Then place a lever over here, redstone torch over here, and redstone repeater over here. Make sure the two prongs of that redstone repeater are facing that way. Now place redstone over here. As you guys can see there, that should create a redstone clock. Once you are done creating that redstone clock, flick this lever down to shut it off. The next step is to place 7 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now place another 7 blocks over here. After you're done with that step, place 5 sticky pistons over here. Make sure those sticky pistons are facing this way. Then place 3 blocks over here. And 3 over here as well. Then go behind the farm. Now place 5 blocks over here. Then place 7 redstone over here. As you guys can see there, that redstone should cause the sticky pistons to extend. The next step is to place 5 sand over here. Now place sand on the extended portion of each sticky piston. Make sure you don't accidentally place any sand under the sticky pistons. Now place 7 blocks over here. Then place 2 over here, 6 over here, and 1 at this spot. That sand and sticky piston system will update kelp so that it grows every second. The kelp will be used to create bone meal. The next step is to place 5 blocks over here. Now place a piston on each of those blocks. Make sure all of those pistons are facing this way. Those pistons will automatically harvest all of the kelp that grows. After you have placed those pistons, place 3 blocks over here, 3 over here, and 3 over here as well. Then place 5 blocks over here. Now place 3 blocks over here, 3 over here, and 3 at this spot as well. The next step is to place 2 chests over here. Now crouch down and place 5 hoppers over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make sure the nozzles of all those hoppers are facing that chest. Then place 5 composters over here. Now crouch down and place a hopper on each composter. Make sure the nozzles of those hoppers are facing downwards. The next step is to place 3 blocks over here, 5 blocks over here, and 3 blocks over here. Now place 5 glass panes at this spot. Once you have done that, place 5 glass panes over here as well. Those glass panes will prevent kelp from getting sent out the front of the farm while also still allowing the hoppers to collect it. This will be the bone meal conversion system in this farm. These hoppers will funnel the kelp into those composters. Whenever those composters are full of kelp, they will create bone meal. The resulting bone meal will then get collected by those hoppers and funneled into that collection's chest. The next step is to go to this side of the farm. Now place 6 ladders over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Those ladders will allow you to easily access the top of the farm. Then place 5 slabs over here. Then place a trapdoor at each of these spots. The trapdoors will allow you to easily replant the kelp if it ever breaks. At this point I recommend you create an infinite water source. To do that first go somewhere near your farm. Then place blocks in this formation. Now place water over here and water over here. By creating that infinite water source, you will be able to use two buckets to fill in all the water for the entire farm. 
Now I place water in each slab. As you guys can see there, that water should flow like that. At this point, fill in and break the infinite water source. The next step is to open these trap doors. Now place a sign at each of these spots. Those signs will ensure the water flows correctly. As you guys can see there, those signs should be behind the top row of glass panes. Now plant 5 kelp over here. Then close these trap doors. The next step is to go behind the farm. Now place a redstone torch over here. Then place a solid block on that redstone torch. Now place a redstone torch over here. Then place a solid block on that redstone torch. Now place a redstone torch over here. Then place a solid block at this spot. Then place a redstone torch on that block. Now place 6 blocks like this. Then place 6 redstone over here. It's really important that you create the back redstone system correctly. These two redstone torches should be powered off. That one should be powered on. This one should be powered off. I am now going to do a quick fly around so that you can check and make sure you've made this farm correctly. Over here, this should be the kelp chamber. Either way, it does not matter if your kelp grows before the farm is turned on. Over here, this should be the bone meal conversion system. Make sure the hoppers are following the correct directions. This side should have this ladder. The back should have all this back redstone. Finally, this side should have this redstone clock. I am now going to show you how to use this farm. To use it, first flip this lever up. Now just wait. As you guys can see there, the standard sticky piston system will update the kelp so that it grows every second. Whenever kelp grows, it will get automatically harvested by the pistons. The harvested kelp will then get picked up by those hoppers and funneled into those composters. When every composter is full of kelp, it will create bone meal. The resulting bone meal will get collected by those hoppers then funneled into this chest. This farm is a great quick and easy way to get a lot of bone meal. By the way, you should only have this farm turned on when you are standing near it. If you are going to leave the farm area or leave the world, you should first flick this lever down to shut it off. That will prevent the farm from breaking. If any kelp on this farm ever breaks, you can easily replant it by going up here. If this farm does not work for you, check to see if any sand is below the sticky pistons. If there is, you'll need to break it. Also, check to see if you made the farm on a chunk border. If you made it on a chunk border, you'll need to remake it so that it's on one chunk. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient Minecraft Bear Rock Bone Meal Farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out more other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching!